I was a fan of Borderlands 2 as soon as I stepped foot on Bandora for the first time since my playthrough of Borderlands 1, and an even bigger fan when the end credits started rolling. When I finished the game for the first time back in 2012, I couldn't wait for the DLC to start being released. In today's video, nearly a decade later, I'll be replaying Captain Scarlet and a Pirate's Booty, which is the first DLC released for Borderlands 2, and I'll be reviewing it and finding out if it was any good. If you liked the video, make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss any future content. Not even a month after the release of Borderlands 2, we were gifted with our first DLC. Pirate's Booty gives us more missions to complete, loot to collect, and a different area of Pandora to spend hours exploring. However, it doesn't live up to the epic story of the main game. Having said that, Captain Scarlet and a Pirate's Booty gives Borderlands fans an excuse to find more rare loot and level up our characters even more. Captain Scarlet and her pirate's booty start you off in a place called Oasis, which is a colourful and unique location that's filled with sand pirates. I was really impressed with how vibrant the map was in some parts, and loved the addition of a huge pirate ship vehicle you can use to drive around the beautiful sandboxes. The story revolves around a treasure hunt where you are looking for the lost treasure of the sands. After arriving in Oasis, you eventually meet Captain Scarlet, who helps you find compass pieces which will lead you to the treasure. I was disappointed with the characters in this DLC, as they were fairly boring and not very memorable. The characters in Pirate's Booty are nowhere near as interesting as they were in the main story of Borderlands 2, and they didn't bring as much humour either. They've done a very good job of giving a really good piratey feel to the game, with brilliantly detailed enemies, pirate ships and anchors in every location, and newly designed loot boxes and treasure chests. There is also a wide range of vicious enemies to fight with new skills you need to watch out for, giving us newly designed enemies and a vibrant new map to explore, this makes the DLC worth playing as it's so different to the original of Borderlands 2. The combat in Pirate's Booty is just as enjoyable as in the main game and entertaining to use your wide range of weapons against the new enemies. My only recommendation is to start this DLC before you reach level 30. I was playing through this DLC and started at level 33 and I just felt too overpowered for the enemy. So if you want to make the most of playing through Pirate's Booty and have a challenge during your first playthrough, make sure you start it before you hit level 30. Just like the quests in Borderlands 2's main game, a lot of the missions in Pirate's Booty are just fetch and kill, but unlike the main game having interesting stories behind the quests, I felt there wasn't much meaning behind them in the DLC, which didn't give me much reason to play through them except to level up, which made it feel like a chore. Despite not having the most engaging quests or characters, I still had a lot of fun playing through Captain Scarlet and a pirate's booty. It was great to explore a new, colourful and detailed location filled with fierce enemies. Even if you start the DLC overpowered, it's still exciting to play through and run through enemies like an absolute god. This DLC gives us what we expect from Borderlands, which is a ton of savage enemies to kill and amazing loot to find and collect. Pirate's Booty makes it worthwhile to see out the story with a great reward at the end. This DLC has plenty of reasons as to why you should play and gives us more hours of Borderlands to keep us entertained. I really enjoyed this DLC even though it's so old and you should definitely play Borderlands 2 if you haven't already played or if you have already played you should definitely replay it and the same goes with Captain Scarlet and a Pirate's Booty. <laughs> 